Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video episode 123. In the last episode, we finished the Matt Hardy card, leveled him up, all of that. Uh, as you guys can see, where is that Matt Hardy card? There he is. Pretty awesome. Um, I haven't even tried him out yet because his finisher is not in the game uh, with what people have been telling me over the last couple of days. And neither is Jeff Hardy's. So hopefully they'll add that soon because that would be really cool to see the Swanton Bomb. Um, the Twist of Fate a little bit less, but the Swanton Bomb will look really cool, I think. Uh, let's get into a game anyway. We are... About over halfway on Jeff, I'd say, because anyway, when you, you know, at this stage, you get more shards quicker than at the beginning. So, no, even if I'm not exactly the, the halfway on the shards, I am halfway, because now it's easy to get the shards. So, I'm going to get into a couple games here today. I will also pro, I thought I'd have my Nakamura done for you guys today, but he's not actually done, because I forgot I, um, someone on my stream challenged me to a thing on Ring Dom, so I put my best cards in, and then I forgot... The, if I put my best cards in, Nakamura's not in there, and it took me a long time to realise to put him back in there to get my games played on him. Speaking about Nakamura, we don't actually get him in this game, so we're going to go put that HBK down at the bottom, because there are no event cards yet, they have a down arrow, so it's better to put your... Uh, oh, sorry about that. I, uh, that keeps happening to me on blue stacks. I keep like resizing the, the window, and it just messes it all up. I need to stop doing that. Because the deck thing, as you guys can see, my deck, when I pick a card, just below it, there's that cursor to just, like, make the window smaller or bigger, and every time I go get a card, well, not every time, but it happens quite a bit. Anyway, let's put this Baron Corbin in there. We should be okay for this game. We're going to go and put... We're going to challenge that Randy Orton just to be safe, because we want to get the eight picks, you know? We don't want to only get four... I wouldn't be able. I wouldn't finish this Matt Hardy for you guys on video because I'm actually going to my dad's afterwards. So I will upload this video straight after recording it. Um, I wanted to stream either yesterday or today. Um, yesterday I explained why I wasn't going to stream. It ended up. It, it didn't end up happening. It's gonna probably. I'm probably gonna do it the tomorrow night. If you guys followed, I'm not gonna explain the whole thing again. But if you guys were in the stream, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, can we get a shard? Can we get a shard? Come on. Give me a shard. Give me a shard. No. For once, actually, like, the two bigger shards here, like, the body, like, they've, I've, yeah, they've gone pretty early. Normally, they're, like, the shards, you know, towards the end up that I get. But that's pretty good. My shard luck is pretty trash, as usual. Well, I don't know. Matt Hardy was quite decent. I streamed it. It was actually quite, it was actually okay. The Matt Hardy wasn't that bad. But this Jeff Hardy, man, seriously, coming down to the last shard... Almost like every other time I'm coming down like to the last two or three shards It's very annoying and when it doesn't come down to the last shard it kicks me off the game I swear I've been trying to play this on my phone all day um, I get to play about a game I get into the picks and then it kicks me off I get back in I do the same thing kicks me off so it's just ridiculous I literally can't play this game most of the time uh, Last night I was like alright I've got a couple of hours let me just grind out on this game for an hour or two but no, it literally would not let me play, so it's really annoying. We all know that there are problems with this game, but it's getting worse. It's not even getting better. It seems like it's getting worse for me. So let me know as well if there's been a lot of waiting on the, net uh, waiting on the network for you guys and all of that. Or the network maintenance when it kicks you off the game and you just get back on it. Yeah. Tell me in the comments if that's been happening to you guys quite a lot over the last couple of days. I would go as far as saying for like the last five days it's been happening to me. So hopefully it kind of calms itself down. And I can play some Supercard and do some Supercard streams as well. So um, next next event is Team RTG, where I'll level up my Sean Mike, Sean Mike, no, my Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy. Uh, we'll get the games played, and then hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's not too hard to get them in RTG because if it's 290 points for Matt, 290 points for Jeff. On top of having to get the WrestleMania normal card and the Ultimate and the Elite and obviously all the other cards, but that's going to be absolutely impossible for a lot of people, and it's going to be very difficult for. It. Imagine you guys have a job or have school, or you know you're not allowed to be on your phone every second of every minute of every hour when you're not at school or not at work. Then you know if you're not allowed to be on your phone all the time, it's going to be very hard for some people to get those cards. It already is very hard for some people, so it's going to it's going to be even harder. I'm going to get it, obviously I'm going to get it, I'm going to do everything I can to get it. When I have to grind, I grind. I enjoy it, I, I, I hate RTG though, so I'm not going to enjoy it. I enjoy the grind, I don't like RTG if that makes sense. I enjoy grinding, but 
not RTG. You guys know what I think about that game mode. Fucking long ass games. The, the amount of times I've fallen asleep with my phone in my hand in the middle of an RTG game is, is seriously, it's, it's hilarious. Because you guys, I'm saying that and you would be like, oh, what, that's happened to you maybe once. No, I, that's happened to me like at least three times. Just grinding on RTG and then I wake up maybe like half an hour later, maybe like hours later. And I'm just like, either the phone's even like fallen out of my hand or it's still in my hand. And it's really funny, but... Yeah, that just proves how boring RTG is. And I know there are a lot of people out there who do like it, but how do you guys like it? How? Um, we had the Nakamura, I did, forgot to put it in the middle, damn it. That was a mistake, huge mistake. As well, guys, I'd like to thank you so much for the support recently on the channel, as usual. Well, as you, I say the support recently, but the support's been amazing, guys, from day one. So thank you again. Uh, we've just hit 4,800 follow uh, subscribers, and we've also hit 1,000 followers on Twitch. So thank you for that, guys. Once again, if you don't know how I do have a Twitch, uh, if you haven't been watching my videos recently, I obviously used to stream on YouTube. I can't stream on YouTube for the time being. So for now, I'll be streaming on Twitch. You guys can find the Twitch in the description down below. It will take you straight to it. I do. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and be live streaming every day. We didn't live stream yesterday, um, but yeah, I was I was just a bit tired. Didn't really feel like playing some super cards, so I didn't. But. Also, guys, let me know what you think about my new series, my triple threat, um, WO2K17. It will be a Fatal 4 way soon. I might, I'm might. i going to be honest with you guys. I've pre-recorded a lot of those videos with a lot of people um, just so I have some content to get out for you guys. We're going to get his face. Well, not really, but almost his face. Um, got five shards left. Give, give me another shard. So that did go down to the last shard, you guys, or witnesses. It took me down to the last goddamn shard again. Ah, God. Also, payback, I think, is on the 30th of April, if I'm not mistaken. Payback, I think, is on the 30th. So the Monday before that, sorry, the Wednesday before that, you'll have my predictions video going up. Um, anything else, really? Oh, yeah, my the 2K17 series, that will either be twice a week or once a week, depending on how you guys like it or not. Um, right now, it has, it has got zero dislikes on the video, so thank you for that. That's really awesome. I hope you guys did enjoy it. It was really fun to record, just getting all on Discord and just playing some 2K17. It's just fun, it's fun moments, you know, just, it's a good time, you know, it's not, it's not meant to be a serious series or, or anything like that, it's just meant to be a bit of fun, a bit of banter, and I hope, I hope that is what it, I hope it delivers, I hope it delivers. So, Ring Dom, how many games, how many games have we played so far? Don't even know, but that Nakamura, I'll show you guys the games played I've got on him. He's about halfway, a bit less than halfway, I would say. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. Last time I showed you guys, it was about the same amount of games played, but I just haven't played with him. So, yeah, I will, I, I will try and get it done. I won't put him in Team RTG because I really will keep Team RTG for Jeff and Matt. Um, I'll put them in like at the beginning. Everyone watching this who's in my team, if you guys want to do the same thing, that's absolutely fine. But by the time we hit either the Hardened or the Elite, and you guys start seeing that we're having a bit of trouble, then you swap out your best cards and put them back, well, you put your best cards back in. But by then, by the Hardened or Elite card, every single card should be completely done, bar maybe one or two with an exception on, like, speed or power, that, you know. You always have that stat on, on a card you're trying to train up that's just less than all the other stats, and... So yeah, that might happen to you guys, that might happen. It happened to me once, I did it with Goldberg, I think. I think I did it with Goldberg, WrestleMania 33. I finished the event, I swear he had like 22 in, in, uh, in speed, I think. It was so funny, like 40 in everything else, 22 in speed. It's like, okay, okay, clearly they didn't want to call speed for him. All right, there we go again, another win, that's good. I have so many people with the Jeff um, with the Jeff image as their champion. So many people, it's it's really funny. I might just keep Matt as my picture just to be a bit different than everyone else using Jeff. Okay, so we don't get another shard there. Five picks, ten shards left. Come on, we've got a 50-50 chance of getting a shard. Knowing my luck, we ain't gonna get a shard. And it doesn't. Oh, we do. We actually get a shard. Okay, we're gonna go for his face. It's not that. That's pretty good. Where we've how many how many how many shards we have left? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We've got seventeen shards left on this Jeff Hardy. 
That means eight picks. So I'm gonna get about a shard every two games. A shard every two games, which is th these are the kind of stages in the cards where I really like to get. You know, at the beginning it's really kind of tedious because you just go down to the last shard and you have to play like ten games to get a shard. But this is this is where it's really fun to play because you get a shard like either every game or every other game, so it's really fun. King of the Ring, a bit of news on this. I know I haven't played King of the Ring in ages, and if I want WrestleMania cards, I'm gonna need to play. I'm aware. I will start my King of the Ring as soon as I've got that Shinsuke Nakamura in this deck. Because um, what we'll do then is I'll put Nakamura instead of, as I said, I already mentioned this, but I'll put Nakamura um, WrestleMania 33 Pro instead of this Chris Jericho. And that will be perfect. And then uh, we'll sandbag off female tag and maybe sandbag off female solo. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to see uh, if that kicks us back, in, well, bumps us down into ultimate tier. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Actually, no, what? we got one more bout. I was going to end the video there, but we got one more bout. Let's go and finish this bout off. Who knows? We might get we might get a bit of shard luck, you know? We might get, might get a bit of luck. We've got that Nakamura as well. Brilliant. We're going to just chuck him in there in the middle. This is what I always do. I've mentioned this a couple times already in the past. But if you guys want to train up a card in ring domination, put him in the middle. And then nine times out of ten, the AI will uh, challenge that card on the first game as that Brock Lesnar just did. Um, completely beats me, completely normal. Some, like, very rarely you will end up winning, but but most of the time you're losing. That's the point, because then what you want to do is you want to challenge it again, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. James Ellsworth, that's an, that's more games played with him. And then I think you guys, you guys will get the point as we go on with this. Um, yeah, he's probably going to challenge that Nakamura again. There we go, and then I will challenge it again. And that's again more games played with it. So I've just played like two in power there. I don't know what the I don't I don't remember what the first game did. And I'm gonna play again with that card. So it's like you kind of play four games in one really. So it's much better than doing. And it's so much funner than just grinding wild mode. It gets so boring just doing wild on repeat just to train up your cards. So there we go. We've just played like four games with this Nakamura. Um, and it's like it's like a game in a game because we're, we're playing the ring dom But you, you want to try and level up the card and there we go We do end up winning as well got very lucky there that Gallagher is a left arrow and That's another win and he has another Jeff Hardy. That's another Jeff Hardy picture as a champion um, Can we get another shard? As you guys know I really like being it. I like making it really symmetrical um, Have the same on both sides so if I go with one, I go for the other. It's 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 very stupid. It's very OCD-ish of me to do, but it's just the way I do it. It's just the way I do it. So we don't get another shard, but we do have eight picks left, which means the next bout will guarantee us a pick. Um, I'll post it on Twitter when I get the Jeff Hardy, I think. I will show you guys his four stats as well, alongside with the Matt Hardy, maybe. Um, as well, follow me on Twitter, guys. Cheeky little, cheeky little plug there, but yeah, hit me, hit me up on Twitter. Show me your decks, um, yeah, deck reviews, all that. If you guys want to, if you guys want me to see them, you guys know how to do that on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have, smash a like on it. If you can smash 49 likes on this video, that'd be fantastic. If you can hit 50, that'd be amazing. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, take care, and most importantly, peace out.